All I know is I'm going to have a lot more Diet Mountain Dew after this show is over because <laughs> this is a huge NFL weekend and we are about to do the do. You got one last night, but you shouldn't even take that one. Kyle yeah. is your guy. Yeah. But you better give Kyle just because me and old Orlando Scam pick Cardinal. That is correct. Let's talk about it. <laughs> You ought to be shaving yourself. <laughs> well, that's right. Let's get started with last night's game because for the second time this season, Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson went down to the wire. Kyler had a tougher time last night against the Seahawks defense and was held to only 15 rushing yards while getting sacked three times, including on the game clinching fourth down play for Seattle. Now, Russ had just over 250 total yards with two touchdowns and no turnovers in the 28-21 to 21 win. So, Shannon, what was your biggest takeaway from last night? Well, Skip, uh, Seattle won the ball game. Um, they were able to run the football. Carlos Hyde coming back was a big, 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 big boost for them. And they didn't have to rely so much on Russell throwing the ball 35, 40 times. He did not put the ball in harm's way. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not convinced that their defense makes them a contender. I think they can. Um, they, they threw the ball. They run, mm -hmm. now, if they run the ball like this and can keep their defense off the field, okay, all bets are off. But I don't believe they're going to continue to be able to run the ball like this uh, 100 and, what, 165 yards last night. So I thought that was the biggest difference in the ball game, and Russ not turning it over. But both of these teams, especially let's talk, take Seattle skill, they got issues. And the issue is, is mm -hmm. that they do dumb things at the most inopportune times. Now, I want to show you two plays that's happened in two different ball games that led to touchdowns. And when you get playoff times, mm -hmm. these are the type of plays that get you beat. It got them beat one time. They won the game last night. Now, this is third down. You Skip, yeah, as bad as they play defensively, you get team third down, you're going to get off the field. We won. We okay. won. Watch Bobby Wagner. Okay. 15 yards. Yeah. They keep the ball. They go down the field and score. It was dumb. Last night, the exact – yeah, what? The ball is way over here to the left. DeAndre Hopkins is even looking Big. around. It was really, really not smart. Exactly. Yep. Eight, eight penalties, 79 yards. That lead to a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it didn't come back, come back to bite you. Um, Arizona, Skip, I don't care what anybody says. Once that kid hurt that shoulder, he was not the same. And it seems to me because Seattle's defense is so poor against the pass, they went into the game saying, we're going to throw the football a ton. And then once the injury, they couldn't switch midstream and he didn't have the juice mm -hmm. on the ball that he normally would because he had some opportunities to make plays, and they just weren't there because of that shoulder. And I've gotten tackled like that a couple of times, and he probably got like an a, a AC joint or something, mm -hmm. but I broke my collarbone and separated my shoulder partially on both of them. Yep. When you get pinned like that, Skip, and you can't get out from under it, and I knew right away, you see, get, Skip, he got up grimacing, and every chance he gets trying to keep that shoulder warm, throwing on the, on the sideline. But Arizona commits too many penalties, Skip. They're number one in penalty, number three in penalty yards. Skip, you can't win. You can't no. go far playing like that. Yep. But Seattle, give Seattle credit, Skip. They showed me something. They showed me, like, look, we might not be the legion of boom, but we're bow our bats. We're just not going to let you come up here and get 500 yards and do what you did mm -hmm. last time. I thought they did a good job, a great job, not a good, maybe the best job that I've seen of containing Ky Kyler Murray. Now, that might have had something to do with that shoulder, Skip, and not wanting to take a shot on it. But... But for the most part, give Seattle credit. They won the game. It wasn't what uh, uh, Arizona didn't do. Yep. Maybe the shoulder played a little role, Maybe. but I give. But I want to give yep. Seattle credit last night. Okay. I'm going to get to my man, Kyler, in just a moment. But my biggest takeaway was what I tried to tell you and Orlando Scandrick yesterday, <laughs> which is simply this. In the end, you cannot write off or dismiss or underestimate two men in this circumstance. And that is Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson. Yeah. They have been here and done this many, many, many times before at the highest level, at the Super Bowl level. And you cannot underestimate the power of those two men on a Thursday night football game, national TV, Russ don't lose on Thursday. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> a, against a division rival that's becoming your arch rival mm -hmm. that had beaten you two straight times, once in Arizona in overtime and last year at the end of the year on this turf that we were watching last night, albeit with no fans in the stands. 
but you can't dismiss them in a game like that. And I thought both of them rose and shone in their different ways mm -hmm. because Russ did not turn the ball over after he'd been a turnover calamity for four games. Yep, 10 and three games. <sighs> so in the end, as many problems as you, you've continued to say they have on defense, the defense to me is not bad, as in it's not bad. It, it, I, I keep looking at it and I say, wait a second, if, if you add Carlos Dunlop to all the, the, the there, there, we should show Bobby Wagner, but he's right. still there yep. and KJ Wright is still there and Jamal Adams is there right. and he's back from injury. And I look around at Trey Flowers, they've got some talent on defense where I say, they're good enough to contend in the NFC. You believe that? Okay, well, this is why I believe it. They now have by far the easiest remaning oh, yeah, schedule, yeah, 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 okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I look at it, the combined <laughs> records of their final one, two, three, four, five, six opponents, combined records, eight, 28, and one. It's a cakewalk. Yeah. Seriously, I will not at all be surprised if they win out on this schedule, and I'll whip through it in just a second. And if they did, <clears throat> they would be 13-3, and three, and they would have the number one seed, and they would have a week off for a playoff home game at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, here are their, their games. At Philly, maybe, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. but that, they can win that game. They could have. Then they get the Giants and the Jets back-to-back -back in Seattle. Right. Okay, Giants are playing much better, but still, that they can win those games. Then this is the NFC lease that they get to play. Then they go to Washington, maybe a little dangerous, right. but I, I don't know. They game. should. Then the Rams, their their rival, obviously, their 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 historical rival, more like in the division. Right. They have to go to Seattle. Right. Okay, that's the one. That's going to be the 50-50 game, but they could win it. And then they go to San Francisco, and I'm not sure what's left in San Francisco. Is the cupboard starting to look bare in San Francisco? Well, since San Francisco arrives to the occasion of the division opponent, okay, they could. always do. Okay, but would you be surprised if Seattle wins out? I would not be surprised. Skip, I, if the defense was better, I'd say, Skip, you're right. But I think their defense, there's some offenses in there that can, ha take, can take advantage of their defenses. And... Look, are you going to tell me they're going to run the ball like they ran last night? They kept the ball away from Arizona for over 10 minutes. It's 35 to 25. Yep. You, well, you mm -hmm. win with that because yep. now you only got your defense playing 25 <sighs> minutes of the ball game where your strong suit is your offense is playing 35 minutes. Now, if you give me that, you say, Skip, you tell me, Shannon, they're going to probably be not, maybe not 35, but somewhere even 30 to 32. I said, okay, Skip. Okay. Maybe, maybe you're on to something. All right. I was impressed how they rose to that occasion last night yes. on both sides of the ball. That's how capable they are yes. of being a factor. Would they be an overrated uh, number one seed? Right. Yeah, they would be. But but I, I think they are positioned. I think they are in the proverbial catbird seat to win the number one seed but I, in the NFC. But I tell you what, even if they were the number one seed, New Orleans, Green Bay, okay. or I, Tampa okay. would have no problem okay. whatsoever. I, I got you. But, but I'm just saying, I, I'm saying, they are going to have yes. to go to Seattle. Somebody's going to have to go up there and stop them. Yes. Okay. Now back to the the the, the, the overriding elephant. takeaway of the night. Listen, I've told you for now three years. Kyler Murray is just a special little player, little big man. He's a mighty might. He 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 has such extreme quickness of foot, quickest feet I've seen since Barry Sanders. Mm -hmm. And he has a cannon of an arm that was gone early last night, to your point. Mm -hmm. So if we could see that play again, it's 529 left in the first quarter, and it's L.J. Collier. Oh, yeah. And I remind you, he was a late first-round pick out of TCU. He weighs 290 pounds. And it's, it's, a, it's a coverage sack because Kyler waited, 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 and then tried to bolt, and it was too late. And Collier, as you just pointed out that you've been through, he, he rolled on. He bounced on him. Yeah. And he bounced with that shoulder tucked under, the right shoulder. Right. And it took, remember, Kyler's a smaller man. Right. This is close to 300 pounds right. on the move, bouncing on right. your shoulder. And he, land, he skipped. And the thing is, he, I don't know why Kyler <clears throat> rolled like this. Normally, quarterbacks try to roll not on that. I'm right-handed quarterback, Skip. I don't want to do anything on that right side. Yep. And he rolls, and the guy, the guy lands on top of him. So I want people to think it was a dirty play. It wasn't a dirty play. It was play. not a dirty play. But Although, that's the that's the hit in the pocket, pocket. that they will not allow. No, 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 but, no, no. But now you have bolted, yes. and now you are fair game. You are a runner now. Okay, and yet, 
I've always lauded Kyler because once he breaks the line of scrimmage, he is so self-protective because he's a good, he was a great baseball player. He's a great slider. He knows when to give up. Right. That was blindside. Right. That was a coverage sack where he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. I got to, I got to, no, I can't. Right. And he takes off a little late right. and doesn't get enough of a head start. And Collier gets him from the blind side right. and he wasn't, he, he couldn't protect right. himself the way you, you thought he should. Right. Okay, so he's grimacing, he's wincing. I'm, I'm going to guess.